Hey, hey, universe and mining family. Grab your shovels and your pickaxes. Welcome to the show. I'm Nemesis. And of course, do your own research. I'm not your babysitter, but let's dig in. And I, I, I gotta stop right here. Ah, this drives me nuts. I don't know how I let Grammaton Cleric talk me into growing all this stubble for the no shave in no November. Uh, it's like ever since it started growing in, I have not been able to stop itching my face. I'm looking forward to the moment that is next month and I'm gonna shave it off. Oh uh, God, this is like just driving me nuts. I'd love to shave it off right now. I remember that when I was with this portion of it, man, it got to a certain length and then it finally stopped itching. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, that's a good shout out for Grandma Tom and Cleric talking me into this one. Yeah, joke's on me, right? Mr. About to, you know, uh, just taking it too far, you know? <sighs> oh. But uh, let's dig into this one. Uh, report NVIDIA to see Q3 strong earnings. Well, that's speculative. Crypto-related GPU sales remain down in a uh, remain in a downtrend. Well, duh. That mining profitability is down. Nobody's really wanting to buy a bunch of new equipment. And just to top it all off, who wants to sit there and buy overpriced GPUs that don't hash out the way that they should? It, it they barely not they are like nominally better for gpu the the nvidia lineup their 2080 is nominally better than a 1080 ti that's sad you're going to come out with a new chipset a new architecture type and you're going to rush it to production and, and i mean it's the way it felt it felt very rushed whenever they brought it to production they don't perform they cost way too much, so the ROI time, especially in today's market, oh my god, it just, it'd be stupid. I mean, if I was going to use it in my day-to-day -day computer, maybe, and I still wouldn't go after the 20 series. The, the drivers aren't supported properly, especially on the 2080s, the 2080 Ti. It's just a horrible graphics card. I know other people who are using them, and yeah, they're like, nope, don't do it, nope. Nope, 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 nope. And, they, and then NVIDIA wonders why their GPUs for crypto relation is down. Because it just doesn't work. And they outright came out and said that they weren't going to be supporting any of the GPU miners anymore. So that's going to be a no-brainer to see that down. But without the... Without the crypto boom, I don't see how they're really sitting there and saying that they've got a real strong quarter three earnings. Unless that was all part of the, the little stunt that they pulled pulling out the uh, 20 series uh, uh, anyway. And that little bump in sales made it look like they had a strong quarter three. Which means that they're going to have a slump in quarter four that they're going to have to kind of answer to. Because uh, they're not, they're, they're just not uh, uh, adequate to to, the, to gaming or to crypto mining. So that's just my two cents in on this one. But let's draw, let's dig in into what this one's all got to say. Experts from the analytical firm Tariff has forecasted increased sales of Nvidia's graphic processing units (GPUs) at the end of the third quarter this year. Forbes reported November 13th. Tariffs notes that while overall GPU sales will be up, sales from cryptocurrency related activities will remain in a downtrend. Yep. American GPU manufacturer NVIDIA is uh, reportedly set to release its quarter three results on November 15th, which it's already happened yesterday. And the tariffs Expect, uh, expertise have predicted an earnings growth by a slightly 20% on the year uh, bias uh, basis. Revenues will uh, primarily be driven by NVIDIA's gaming GPUs because, quote unquote, that's what they're going to be focusing in on now, which are in higher demand due to the 
new Matrix Q technology. I don't think so. I wish I had one of those things to just be like, nope. But I'll do it. Nope. I will not get any of these cards for gaming. Mm -mm, not going to do it. And the uh, decanter, which is experiencing a strong demand for its Volta architecture, the analyst says. I don't need that Volta architecture. No one's using it. How is Volta architecture relevant if nobody's really utilizing it properly? And on top of that, nobody's using ray tracing, which is what these things are supposed to be like all about. But the, the uh, analysts don't say anything about that though. The experts also forecast Terga processors and GPU segments growth in high teens Terga processor revenues will be reportedly to grow to $490 million in quarter three, which the experts explain is led by an automotive system on chips, SOC, modules for the Nintendo Switch Gaming Council. Hmm. Yeah, got to expand in other areas to make up for the losses that you're, you're, you're getting because you're not helping out the GPU market by only catering to just the uh, just the gaming market, you're finite. You've got one little area when there's a big market in front of you. I don't think it's a real good uh, marketing scheme on their end, but who am I to say? I'm just some boob turbo. Despite the overall positive outlook, the GPU revenues, the reports note the decline in sales associated with crypto-related activities, as well as the impact of tariffs on some of these Chinese goods, which we'll introduce earlier this year. Yeah, I know all about that one. Yeah, that one's a hot topic. It's like sitting there and robbing people. Otherwise, you're not going to get your goods. So if you spend a few thousand dollars overseas, expect that the U.S. government is going to penalize you for that one. Because they're not penalizing the businesses. Oh, the businesses that can conduct as normal. They're going to penalize the people that are purchasing it on our end. So we're disencouraged to buy for anything from overseas so that we can properly isolate ourselves from the rest of the world. Way to go, America. The analysts report that the expected consolidation revenues to be a bit under 3.10 billion in quarter three, which is an 84%, could be attributed to GPUs, while Terga processors will make up for the rest. The future re no, the report further explains. <clears throat> while forecasting the earnings per share to be 1.63 uh, or a dollar 63 in quarter three and seven dollars and nine for the full year um, in 2018 we will we use a trailing 12 months price to earnings multiple of 35 times to arrive at our price estimate of 248 dollars for nvidia this implies a premium of over 30% to the current market price. Yeah, that sounded like a whole bunch of jargon that I didn't understand too well. <clears throat> As Cointelegraph previously reported, Nvidia's stock price declined more than 5% in the extended season following an announcement of the company's quarter three estimate. Hmm. People aren't happy in their I guess they're not gonna be making that all that money from the uh, stocks, I guess. Nvidia then reported that crypto mining sales were significantly lower than expected in quarter two. Duh. Adding to the adding to that does not expect to make significant blockchain related sales for the rest of the year. That wasn't a good decision. Ah. Meanwhile, Tariffs expects an outline of 20% decline in NVIDIA stock during the past month, which reportedly follows the weak quarter three figures from some tech stocks and some market uh, reactions to the tariffs. <coughs> Ooh, 
Got a little cough in my throat. But yeah, this I'm I'm not very thrilled with Nvidia with their 10 series, you know, their their 20s uh their 10 series like the uh, the 1070 Ti, the 1080 Ti. I'm very happy with those two products. Uh, they they are very competitive. They work for gaming. They work for mining. It's a well-rounded GPU. Your the GPU isn't restricted to people who are making videos. It's not restricted to people who are gaming, and it's not restricted to mining. That's how GPUs are supposed to be. They're supposed to be highly flexible. Well, with NVIDIA coming out with their 20 series and say that they're not expecting it to be used for mining in any way, kind of shot themselves in the foot. And I think that they're going to see more of a, of a decline in their stocks and in sales in general until they can make a GPU that's well-rounded and works well for gaming. Not that you've got some hopped up 1080 Ti on a new architecture that nobody uses and can't be effectively used for pretty much anything. You can't real the 1080 T the 2080 Ti's. You can't do video with it very effectively because it's really grainy because the drivers don't support it. The gaming uh, the 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 way the games look on it, it doesn't look any different at all to a 1080 Ti. And videos, like if you're watching videos and stuff like that, you're not going to notice the difference anyway. So my my whole thing is I think that they're going to be seeing more declines until they can sit there and basically make a, a decent card that's going to be good for gaming and mining. Why is that? Because people like myself, who is an avid gamer, is also mining. So if they're not tailoring to my needs, why should I buy the products that they're producing. I am not incentivized in any way, shape, or form to run their equipment. Now their 1080s and their 1070s, I am incentivized. Good gaming, good mining. So with that guys, put your comments in down below. What you thinking about this? You think that they're gonna be seeing more declines in sales because all they're caring about is a, a crappy architecture and gamers that aren't using their stuff or do you think that i'm totally wrong and if you think i'm wrong tell me why you know drop those comments in down there and while you're down there of course smash that like button smash it and uh, of course I will see you on the next one, and oh yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell notification guys, later.